Okay, hello to everybody. I wish you a very warm welcome. Uh, let me explain what occupied my mind while I was preparing to meet with you today. At the moment, we all know there is a strong fact that we are stacked in a deep recession. The Management Association of Slovenia delivered a short time ago a document which offers clear solutions. So the goal is clear, all stars are in the right place, we have a government in place, we have prominent people, we have the power and willingness to change. So, how to start? What is dragging us back? Is it the need to change itself? Is there no urge? Yes, there is an urge, there is a strong one. Is the everyday struggle in which is holding us back from the long-term focus? Well, not in my world. Is there a lack of readiness from us all? Might be. But with a fast transformation from willingness to readiness, we would be there. So my dearest youngsters, prominent futurists, other guests, the Management Association of Slovenia, Zuzhny Manager, explained in the document called Convenient of a Successful Future, 15, 2020, several times. We listed very, very clear objectives, how to get to the ultimate goal to bring Slovenia among the 15 top successful countries by 2020. The business world expressed clear dedication to get there, a lot of meetings and talks and explanations are already done and still be done with politics, government, unions, and many others. And yet, it seems that we are circling in non-solutions. In the company I lead, Simobil, I have great young people full of energy, readiness to move, change, and seek new potentials. Every day out there in the market. I just came from our annual sales meeting here in Blit with almost 200 salespeople which are discussing the future of our company as I speak. But whenever I come among my employees, I urge and tempt them to start from scratch, to go back, to go very, very back and do whatever they want to do differently. Work can be done if you step out of your routine. Lots more can be done in a different manner if you kill the existing position of comfort and sink it all over again. In my company it's possible, the culture is set to drive the change. People are ready to start new things. Out there in the world of struggling economy, everlasting political discussion and constant disputes, this might be taken as a burden. So I take the opportunity today at this summit to ask you to turn the red lights into green lights. Most definitely, you are the future. We've still not that many paradigms and patterns in your minds, in your hearts and heads. Please sing it out. Please sing it out. Let your brains do the much needed storms and help us find new paradigmas to change the world. Since the world, at last, the one I live in, has never been that eager to change, I can really guarantee. Here's what a man I respect very highly said at the launch of a new marketing campaign back in 1997. And I quote, here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round packs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They are not found of rules and they have no respect for statutes, for the status quo. You can quote them, you can disagree them, glorify or vilify them, about the only thing you cannot do is ignore them. Because they change things, they invent, they imagine, they heal, they explore, they create and they inspire. They push the human race forward. Maybe they have to be crazy. How else can you stare at an empty canvas and see a work of art? Or sit in the silence and hear a song that has never been written? Or gaze at the red planet and see a laboratory on wheels? While some see them as the crazy ones, 
we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who will do it. That was said by Steve Jobs at the launch of the I Think Different campaign in 1997.